Episode 4 of Dr. Cha begins with that fantastic ending to the previous chapter repeating again. But it's so funny it's absolutely fine to see again. Thankfully, the raucous inside the restaurant is so extreme that the chief apologizes for asking a rude question and asks when Zhang Suk's husband died. She tells the chief that it's been a long time since he passed and can't remember when they got married either, solidifying the lack of love in their relationship. After the drinking, it's on to karaoke. In Ho is naturally a stuck in the mud and on his phone the whole time, while Roy does a solo, followed by Zhang Suk who does one too. He encourages everyone else to get up and join her, dancing. The only people who don't include In Ho and a very drunk chief, the latter eventually passing out and carted into a taxi. Our resident heartthrob, Roy, drops by on his bike but Zhang Suk wants a lift back and is encouraged to get on with her. He didn't drink the whole night, as it turns out, and she holds onto him as they drive off. In Ho notices and flicks his lighter outside, angry and determined to get revenge. Well, Zhang Suk is overcome with emotion and ends up crying on the ride back. With tears in her eyes, she tells Roy that she's feeling nauseous and needs to stop. Meanwhile, Dr. John ends up hooking up with Young Min, taking control and kissing in private. This explains her attitude toward him and Zhang Suk at the hospital. Anyway, back with Zhang Suk for now, she points out how amazing her first motorcycle ride was and tells Roy Kim it feels great to have freedom and a life of her own. This explains her tears, their tears of joy. She thanks Roy for helping her out but he shrugs it off, claiming that he's just building rapport in their doctor-slash-patient relationship. Zhang Suk shrugs off the lack of love in their relationship but Roy speaks up and reveals how he should still have respect for her. After they part ways, Zhang Suk heads back home and has a glass of water in the kitchen alone, while In Ho is in his bed sulking. Ai Rang is at school and notices a letter in her bag. It's written by Zhang Suk and she writes out exactly as she feels, claiming that she's doing her best to live for her own dreams and although she fully supports Ai Rang, she wants to try and live for herself for once. Ai Rang folds up the letter and sighs, putting it in her bag. Meanwhile, at the hospital the next day, Dr. John helps herself to Young Min's food, much to the disdain of Zhang Suk. Young Min tries to dissuade his mum without giving away what's happening between them all, but he's stuck in the middle. After lunch, Dr. John chews out Zhang Suk for making the wrong prescription for a patient, overdosing the amount and telling her she needs to be more careful. Young Min overhears and tries to get involved, but John claims that her touching him is likened to sexual harassments. Getting nowhere, Young Min tells his mum to keep her chin up, pointing out that Dr. John is ruthless and that's just how she is. Zhang Suk is not happy and as she starts stressing, her muscles begin to tense so Young Min helps her out and gives her a massage. Meanwhile, Ae Sim continues to fuss around the house but when she heads out for her treatment, she bumps into Diak Rai, who's similarly getting some Botox shots. This is, of course, quite the irony given what she said about natural beauty last episode. She also claims that Zhang Suk is paying for this too, which causes Ae Sim to begin stressing, sulking that she'd never do this for her. However, on the way out she notices Ae Sim get into someone's car, and she wonders if they're dating. Back at the hospital, Dr. Roy helps out Sung Hai when she almost slips and spills all her food, managing to save her and catch all the food at the same time. It definitely woos her, until Roy and Zhang Suk sit and eats lunch together, laughing and having a good time. In Ho heads in and decides to eat at his desk instead, avoiding the pair, while Sung Hai is shocked. After eating, Zhang Suk leans on her son constantly, asking him for help and harassing him all day. In fact, it gets to the point where Young Min confronts his mum outside, telling her that she's interfering with his schedule. He also questions her lack of knowledge. Although things don't go to plan, Young Min sends over some videos afterwards to help her out, showing how much he really does care about her. Remember the Chairman O oh from the last episode? The one Zhang Suk misspoke to? Well, he's enraged and in a crazed state as he has to carry around a colostomy bag with him from now on if he goes ahead with the surgery. His anger turns to sorrow, and he begins sobbing on the floor. It's tough for Zhang Suk to witness, and even more so when he decides not to take the surgery, eating junk food and listening to music. No sooner has she dealt with this, she's off dealing with a whole array of other tasks. One of these includes needing In Ho's help with inserting a chest tube. He refuses, so it falls to Dr. John, who's actually in the shower at the time. Time passes and she's left on her own, so she rearings In Ho and he manages to help her, but not before she calls him honey. And funnily enough, Dr. John shows up as scheduled too, prompting awkwardness to ensue. That is, until John effortlessly finishes everything up, with In Ho overseeing. That honey greeting passes to the receptionists who begin to gossip and wonder what In Ho's relationship is with Zhang Suk. Through all of this though, Roy helps give Zhang Suk some encouragement, telling her to speak to different patients and see if she can try and help them, believing in her ability to change their minds. As for Roy, he has a history which has been kept secret up until now. Many wonder just what he's been through, but off shift, he drives up to an orphanage where a nun is there to greet him. He wants information on Kim Yu Hyun, which seems to be Roy's name. He was found, rather than abandoned, and he's desperate to find out what happened in his past. Back home, Zhang Suk spends time with her family and ends up cooking for Ai Rang and her new friend, Unesio. Zhang Suk is curious over who her mum is but beyond working at the hospital, she doesn't know much else. Unesio does point out that indoor golfing centers are the hottest places for an affair, which throws Zhang Suk off her game. It's also clear, given Unesio looked at the family portraits in their house, 
that she knows In Ho is a cheater. Jong Suk finds a receipt for a bracelet, and A E Sim claims she doesn't know what this is. Unfortunately, it only compounds Jong Suk's feelings further that In Ho is having an affair. In Ho is also shady about the whole thing too, and then eventually claims that it was all for Jong Suk's birthday, which is two months away. Given he hasn't got it on him, he's stuck in a bit of a pickle. When In Ho has a bath, Jong Suk speaks to her husband about Sung Hai and how their relationship is. In Ho claims that they don't really talk beyond passing glances, and he even pays Jong Suk a compliment too telling her she doesn't look too bad compared to Sung Hai. At the hospital, Jong Suk apologizes to Sung Hai. She's really sorry for what happened between them and speaks openly about how amazing Sung Hai is and how what she did was thoughtless. She didn't have the guts to apologize back then. Sung Hai shrugs the whole thing off and claims it was ages ago. Meanwhile, Jong Suk heads back to the ward and learns that Chairman Oh has passed out on his way out the building. With his condition critical, Dr. John and Jong Suk work together to try and save his life. It's touch and goes for a while and unfortunately, he looks on the verge of passing away. Jong Suk looks up and out the room where she notices In-ho and Sung-hai together. Even worse, she notices Sung-hai is actually wearing that pesky bracelet. As she puts her hand down, right in the way of the defibrillator, got electrocuted she passes out. If you like recaps hit the subscribe button for the best of TV series and movie recaps on AOB Twist.